Hi there, Juan Carlos Safur here from Innova Leaf Creative Solutions. This video is part two from the sequence of videos I'll explaining all the gear that you need, the setup, and the process to live streaming without cables. If you haven't watched video number one, click the link here that I'll explain all the needed gear for you to start live streaming wirelessly. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and also leave me your comments. You will find all the links from the equipment I'll mention in this video in the description box below. Let's dive in now. The setup is key when using a gimbal to move around with your camera. For this reason, it is essential that you feel comfortable carrying all the gear in your gimbal and feeling in control all the time. When putting things together, always think about how you will move around, shots you will take, and possible options for making a mistake so you can avoid them as much as possible. Okay, once you have figured things out for your shot and how you will perform out there, it is time to assemble things together. Let's put this baby part by part so you can understand all the things that you need to do how to assemble this for you to start live streaming without wires. Before we start putting things together, the first thing that you must do is to make sure your camera has everything in it before you start putting everything right here so you can balance it. If you haven't watched that video on how to balance this with your camera, you can watch the link here and you're gonna be able to balance this and then continue. In this initial process, I'm going to place my uh, plate in this gear right here so I can place my uh, focus motor right here so I can control my focus wheel so I don't move the camera when I'm moving around so it's gonna be easier for me to focus on my subject once I'm moving around with my gimbal so the first thing you must make sure you have your battery in you have your SD card and now we are going to start putting things together. I'm going to grab my uh, rod, which is 15 millimeters uh, rod, and I'm going to place it right here. So this is two ways for you to put it. You can either put it on this side, or you can put it on this side. The reason why I'm putting it right here is because it's gonna be easier for me to balance this, because otherwise if I put everything on this side, it's gonna be too heavy on this part because it's gonna have all the wires coming from this place and it's gonna be harder for me to balance it. So that's why I'm putting it, putting it on this side of the camera, which is going to be on the right side of the camera. So what I'm going to do first is I'm gonna add this screw right here. And then I'm going to place this little uh, razor so I can put my plate here and then I can put I'm sorry I can put my camera on top and then the blade on the bottom so I can put it on my uh, gimbal so what I have done so far is I have placed these two pieces together and then I'm attaching this little razor for my plate and then I'm going to attach my camera here So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to place this plate in these two holes and I'm going to make sure it's secure. Perfect. Now I'm going to be able to put my Fox motor. So I'm going to place it right here. But before I do that, I'm going to place my strip, the one that is going to control the focus wheel, which is this wheel right here. So what I did is I put this little kind of strip like to secure the end of it. So it's kind of like, it's, it's more um, secure this way. So I'm going to make sure it's tight enough. So now I'm going to insert this and I'm going to align it here 
But you can see it's aligned this wheel with the wheel is aligned with this strip right here. We secure this. And make sure it's securing. Perfect. All right. Now I have my focus motor on my camera and it's ready to be mounted on my gimbal. The gimbal has two different sides where you can put this, either right here or on the other side, but I'm going to leave the right side of the gimbal to put my uh, monitor right here. And so I'm going to put this focus wheel on this side. So it's gonna be easier for me to place it right here and control it with my alert light. And this little uh, cable is going to connect this with the gimbal so I can control the focus motor with this. So after I have placed my camera on my gimbal and properly balanced it, now I'm going to proceed to put my uh, focus wheel so I can control my zoom with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this right here. And now make sure it's tight enough. So I'm going to control my focus of my camera with this wheel right here. What I did was to place this cable right here and I attach it to the gimbal so I can control with this uh, focus wheel my focus mode right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to proceed to turn my gimbal on. Perfect. Now it's ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this. As you can see, it's now connecting. It's moving around. Now it has the green uh, light, which is telling me that it's been connected. So now I can move my wheel with this. So I don't have to do this every time I want to focus on my subject, so I can do it from here. So as you can see, how easy that is when you have this little device. Now what I'm going to do is to connect my microphones. I'm using the uh, Rode Wireless Go mics, uh, so I can be wireless, of course. And uh, there's two options for you to connect this. You can either Connect it directly right here on top of your camera with this little wire coming from the uh, receiver. You can place it right here and connect it here on the side. Or you can connect, and this is for you to have the audio coming from your camera and transmitter your audio directly from your camera. Or what you can do is you can move this out of here, connect it to this little device right here and place it on one of the ports right here on your Zoom portable H6 recorder. So you can do that. Either way is fine and you can just connect it right here and you can also have control on your audio this way. So in this opportunity, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it right here on the top. I'm going to place my receiver on top of my camera and I'm going to connect it here. Now make sure my wire is not in the way. Now I'm going to connect my transmitter on this part is where I'm going to put my monitor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this on the other side. I'm going to take this little piece right here and I'm going to place it on my other side. And make sure it's tightened so I have placed this little device, uh, piece right here 
and I'm going to take my holder, monitor holder, and I'm going to attach it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this piece of equipment, uh, which is a cold shoe that I got from a small rig, and I'm going to attach it right here. Perfect. Now I'm going to just place it right here. Now I have my microphone set up and ready to go. Now it is time for us to put together the monitor and the uh, receiver of my transmitter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my monitor right here and I'm going to attach it this way. This is the uh, actual normal way, but I'm going to reverse it. So this way is going to be easy for me to place the uh, HDMI connection right here on the side, on the outside. So I'm going to tie this right here. And for the transmitter, I'll suggest that you check different options. I have uh, three different holders to see how can I put it here on my side that doesn't interfere. When I put it right here, that doesn't touch this. And uh, that is really important because if you're going to be moving around your gimbal, it's gonna be hitting these antennas of the receiver of your transmitter right here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use this one right here because this one allows me to put it on my side. So I'm going to place it. I make sure it's not touching my microphone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it here on my uh, holder. And I can just bend my antennas so it's gonna be easier for me to not touch them. So right now, if I move it around, it's not touching, as you can see. So it's out of my way when I'm moving the gimbal around. So I have two Sony MP batteries. So I'm going to attach one right here and the other one right here in the back. Okay, perfect. Now I'm using this uh, HDMI splitter with this HDMI to mini HDMI adapter and two HDMI cables that I have placed uh, that I have attached together, so it'll be easier for me to kind of organize those cables here. So what I did is I used these uh, stripes to hold them uh, together and then be able to kind of like do this. Quick suggestion. Uh, I'll suggest to get a different splitter. I couldn't get a different one, unfortunately. Uh, this is too heavy for the camera. I'll suggest to get maybe a single one or one that is not that as heavy as this one. Same for the uh, for the HDMI cables, try to get uh, shorter ones. These are three feet long. I will prefer to have uh, maybe one and a half or two feet long. So I don't have to do kind of like this. So the lighter the cables, the better. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to place my connection to connection of my mini HDMI right here on my side of my camera where I have that connection and I'm going to pass this this way so I'm going to connect these two ends right here as I'm doing so right now so I'm putting this together right here and connecting this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this from the back and I'm going to connect one end to my receiver and the other end to my monitor. So now you're going to be able to see whatever the camera is looking at, you're going to be able to see it in a different monitor. So that's how you live stream without wires. Okay, I have placed a different monitor right here 
attached with my transmitter. And then the receiver is going to be able to connect with this one to be able to see it here, whatever the camera is seeing. I'm going to be able to see it here. So I'm going to power up both of my uh, devices right here. I'm going to turn on my camera. Now, the receiver has connected right here, same as the other. I'm seeing my, my camera right here, but I'm also seeing, seeing it right here. So as you can see, if I move around my camera, I can see what's happening. And then, Let's say I want to adjust to that light, and then I can move my focus wheel to that. All right, guys, so here it is, all the equipment together and everything you need to do to start live streaming wireless. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social media channels right here. Next time, I'll see you guys with more great videos, tips, and equipment reviews. Bye.